Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. Uh, with me today I have Jeff Ryder from SAP and Henry Bailey, also from SAP. Uh, guys, we are at the SAP uh, headquarters here in California, in, pa in Palo Alto, because... Jeff? So, we started uh, earlier this year uh, taking a, a survey of all of our employees, and are they interested in electric vehicles? It turned out they are. About 200 said they are in the market for one. Uh, and so how can we deal with that as a company? We can take advantage of that to show you know, sustainability thought leadership. We can also uh, make this appealing to our employees, appealing place to work. Um, so you're seeing today the culmination of our planning process. We are deploying 16 uh, Coulomb Technologies charging stations. These are level 2 charging stations. Uh, it will be across campus. Um, and so le level yeah. 2 charging stations means what? Well, it will be 240 volts. That's the voltage that you run your dryer off of. So um, that's very capable. It can charge the battery in a faster time than if you trickle charge with 120 volts. So uh, we think that's probably the way it's going to go. People will want to see that in their, in their public charging option. Um, and even at home, I think we'll see you know, level two charging stations is coming. So, so today, uh, we actually first turned our first uh, charging stations on. And as you can see, we have a small fleet of electric cars here. Uh, we have our partners from Nissan with the Leaf. We have a plug-in hybrid Prius. We have a Chevy Volt, um, and further down, we, it's hard to see here, but we have a Coda automotive uh, demonstration car. Okay. Yeah. And Henry, you're involved with the uh, e-mobility solutions, so Correct. what's that exactly? So what we've done is we've looked at, uh, as Jeff mentioned, you know, we've got our employees interested in uh, electric vehicles. We also have a lot of our customers interested in uh, how to deploy electric vehicles, primarily utilities, looking at, you know, how do they uh, manage the uh, infrastructure when these vehicles start showing up in their, in their service territories. Um, so as people buy the electric vehicles, they drive them home. Now suddenly they're plugging them into the grid, um, which in some cases, using the level two charging station that Jeff described, could look like you know another um, small home being plugged into the grid. And so the utilities have a, you know a couple of uh, opportunities. They need to look at how do they manage this uh, new load coming out of the grid, and then also with the uh, you know the purchasing of of energy. Um, by the homeowner and maybe by third parties who are char offering these charging stations at uh, retail outlets, parking garages, uh, businesses. How do they basically settle those charges back to the consumer so that they can basically charge anywhere they want, roaming you know freely around the country, if you will? The, the example being, if I go to the local local supermarket and plug in there, how does how does that? charge appear on my electricity bill. Exactly. And, uh, but there may be different uh, types of settlement options that the consumer wants. They may want it to come back to their, their home energy bill as a separate line item so they can see exactly what their energy usage is both when they plug it into their home as well as when they're roaming around to different uh, shopping malls, grocery stores as you're talking about. Um, they may also want to settle it to you know, the credit cards. They may want to settle it to cell phones uh, and have it as part of you know, that, uh, that infrastructure. So we're looking at all different options. And, uh, and we also see businesses taking advantage because, take the mall, for example, if you can attract people with electric vehicles to come and stay maybe an extra hour or two, giving them some sort of incentive to stay that hour or two um, by either the convenience and or uh, electricity at maybe a, a low or no cost to them directly, then that entices them to stay longer, shop more, and so they're looking at it as a way to uh, incent the customers to come and visit um, their place of business. Excellent. Guys, thanks very much.